Hidalgo County asking uh, taking that is the first steps to expand their health department to address the pandemic. Two projects receiving preliminary approval this afternoon. Channel 5's Varley Gonzalez on site with more. We're standing outside the Hidalgo County Health Department. If we take a look to the back, we can see that there is a paved parking lot and also a dirt lot. Now let's give you an aerial view so that you can see where the county is proposing to place portables and create a new building that the county health department director says is long overdue. 46 days ago, Hidalgo County reported its first coronavirus case. Today, it's a little over 350 cases. County officials don't want to be outpaced by the growth of the virus. Hidalgo County Health, uh, we've been in the same facility for many, many years, and, and we are a very, uh, very, very tight for space. They plan to expand physical facilities by adding portables and creating a new laboratory. If, uh, unofficially right now, our population is about 1.2 million people. Uh, so I think it is a part of our public health progression is to look at developing this laboratory uh, capacity here in Hidalgo County to assist with not only COVID issues, but dealing with any other type of respiratory infectious diseases that may occur. They're making room for about 18 new employees, all brought in to help address the needs of a community in crisis. Anything having to do with COVID investigations, intervention, assessment, uh, later on vaccinations, mm -hmm. things like that. Several positions are already posted online. The three COVID-19 medical technicians will be tasked with performing clinical duties and treatment of COVID-19 clients. It's a one-year grant-based position that will also require they respond to all bioterrorism events or large disease outbreaks and other public health emergencies anywhere in the state. A CDC-funded state grant allocated about $1.2 million to help Hidalgo County treat those affected by the virus. There are limitations on how they can use money. Some of it will be funneled into the repair of portables where the new employees will be placed. That's until the Hidalgo County Public Health Laboratory is created. Both of these projects were tentatively approved by the commissioners. It will be a couple of months before the buildings are in place. For now, the newly hired employees should start trickling in starting on Monday. The commissioners agreed to dedicate and assign this property for those buildings. They also made decisions on related purchases, including generators for clinics, improvements to systems used to record and track patient information, and autopsy facility improvements. Now, approval for all this is only preliminary. County commissioners today expressed concerns over juggling state and federal funds. The CARES Act, the FEMA funding, then this CDC-backed state grant all have different requirements on how they can use the money in a, in a way where the county will get reimbursed for those funds. So none of these projects will get started until the legal department signs off and the county commissioners give final approval. Live in Hidalgo County, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.